What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we will be showing you how to make dummies and how to yeah, create new ones and put them in game and all that. We're going to create a just a simple car. Like when I say simple, I mean like a car that you would make in first grade um, that you drew in like your in the classroom when you were bored because you're not a good student. <laughs> Alright, so here's here's the car, right? This will also be a, a tutorial on how to like put wheels inside the dummies and stuff. Now this is probably gonna be really large, so I'm gonna import a car just for a scale reference. This 350, sure. Make sure scale factor is one. Yeah, look how large that is. Okay, so we're gonna scale this down to be roughly about the same size. Move this one aside. All right, so here's here's the car, right? Okay, now we can delete that. So this will apply to downloaded a, a whole car model online somewhere, downloaded whatever, and you want to put it in game. This is basically the simplified way. So take this and kind of use it towards your application. Okay, so here's my car. I'm gonna make it look a little bit prettier. All right, pretty. We're gonna make the wheels. So I'm gonna do some cylinders. We're gonna do like that. Let's put some thick, thick Johnnies on there. All right. So start with one wheel, um, and then it's a lot easier to start with one wheel and then copy those dummies instead of making all four wheels. In order for a car to work in a seto, you need to have five main dummies. So in 3ds Max, you go to this little um, protractor symbol, right? I don't know. Oh, helpers is what it's called. And you go down a dummy, and then you click and drag. Now you can make the dummies this big. You can make the dummies super small. It does not matter. Click and drag to create the dummies. Just make the dummy like about the same size as the object solely for the reason that it's easier to see and work on when it's like huge i i've seen some cars that the dummies are like massive and it just makes everything harder like yeah just make your life easier so you made a dummy this is empty cube here the game uses these dummies to know where the wheels are how big the wheels are just like everything revolves around dummies for the game what we're gonna do is make sure the pivot point if you go to the hierarchy tab and then affect pivot point on the object the pivot point will toggle on and say center to object and then turn it off now our pivot points in the center of the wheel so now if we go to like local and then rotate it the wheel will be perfectly circular so click on the dummy we're gonna rename this dummy or we'll bring up this side just so some people are might relate better. We'll rename this in all caps wheel underscore and this is the left front so we'll do wheel LF. So now we go ahead and alt A. We're gonna first align the dummy to the wheel first before we put the wheel inside the dummy if that makes sense. XYZ and then center center. When you're making dummies for a car that already has like camber on the wheels then you'd probably want to do a line orientation if you are doing that, try to go back to Concept Manager, set suspension camera to zero, update the model, and then unpack it, because then the wheels will be at zero camber in 3DS. If anyone has questions about that, DM me in this Discord comment. Um, yeah, because that's a little bit more of like a wait what type of subject. Um, okay, so I like to put the dummies like just you know the same size. I'm gonna rename this car, and then we'll say uh, wheel okay right click the wheel object add selected to and then select on new parent pick you can either select on the dummy itself or the, the thing in the on the list so now our wheel is inside our dummy okay so then if you wanted to you could rotate the dummy and also then the wheel would rotate we select child nodes on wheel LF and we're going to hold shift to duplicate it like that and then we're going to click on 
wheel lf uh like the front one the original one select child nodes and then duplicate to the other side okay so now what you need to do the wheels are basically the same direction as these ones okay so on top of your wheel dummies right you need, you're gonna need suspension dummies as well so we're gonna do that we'll call this one susp susp underscore lf Okay, so we're going to place this. So typically this would be where your like brake rotor. Sorry, not your not your, not the rotor. The rotor you could put in your wheel dummy or a disc dummy. Sometimes people do that. So your caliper and anything that you want to move up and down with a suspension would be in the suspension dummy. So I'll put it right here. And we'll put the other one back here. We're going to rename this suspension LR. Make sure it's all caps. We're going to shift and drag to the other side. All right. So there's the suspension dummies. Let's go ahead and rename these. So if you don't name them exactly how I'm naming them, then it will not work in game. The game will not know what the heck that is. So the front one is RF. So this is the front of the car, but RF, RR. Okay. Easy, easy. So then, just like how you do like a wheel swap or anything, you're going to uh, align the wheel dummy to the suspension. So click on the wheel LF, Alt-A, Suspension LF. And then center, center, apply, and boom, in the center. And you can do that for all, all four. Before we do this side, we're going to, instead of selecting the dummy, we're going to be selecting the wheel itself. And because we set the pivot to exactly the center, we can just rotate this 180. And that should be good. If you have like more wheel or like more parts to the wheel and stuff, like literally anything else other than this example, um, that you it kind of gets a little tricky. You have to make like a dummy to put all the wheel components in and then rotate it. Um, and then delete that dummy that you made. So it's kind of like a temporary container. All right, so more on how to rotate the wheels if you have multiple objects in them. I realized as I was editing it, I feel like I should explain. We have a lot of bolts here. We have the face, we have the barrel, we have the center cap, um, and then the hub. So lots of objects. If we try to go ahead and do this, like we could do this. You could just grab it all. So in this example that I have right here, everything is, the pivot is centered directly in the middle of the wheel. So it actually works if you try to grab everything. So say you had an object on the wheel that's not exactly, the that didn't have the pivot point centered in the wheel. And so if you try to select everything, it, it won't be centered. And so that will affect when you try to go and rotate now the pivot point is not completely centered on the wheel. We're going to make a container dummy to group everything together and we can move it, rotate it, do whatever we need to do without being affected by off-center objects like this. So we're going to go to our dummies, create a dummy, click and drag. We're going to alt A to, we'll center it to the barrel. Okay, center, center, X, Y, Z, nothing else, apply. Okay, so now the dummy is centered exactly in the middle of the wheel, or it's centered with the barrel. We're going to select everything, minus the dummy. We're going to go over here, add selected to, new parent, click on the dummy. We'll call this a container, container dummy, right? Okay, so now, now we can rotate everything without the pivot point or anything inside being affected. In comparison, if you try to do it without a dummy, I'm going to move this out. You see how the, the gizmo here is not in the center of the center cap, whereas this one, it's in the very center. So, okay, so once you rotate everything, so say you rotate it, right? Then you can go ahead and just delete the dummy. So you just click and click the dummy itself, or you could come here and just click the dummy, and that will get rid of everything. And so now your wheel is fully, like, I guess.
gets flipped and everything's still there. Now, it, you could keep the dummy if you wanted to. You, after rotating, you could keep it like this and then call this, like, I've seen people do, like, rim LF, for example, and then put the tire on and then put it in a wheel dummy. So you'd have the rim LF inside the wheel LF. So that would, that would work. The orientation of the dummy when it's inside of another one doesn't really affect it. You could keep the dummy. I like to get rid of these just to keep it um, as little dummies as possible but sometimes it is nice to have the wheel separated from the um, the actual wheel separated from the wheel dummy but I hope this answers questions about that so let's move on let's rename these real quick so this is wheel uh, oops this is wheel uh, LR no yeah LR that's right this one is wheel RF RR. Okay. So these are rotated and then we're going to alt A. RR. So we have all the wheels aligned to the suspension dummy. The last thing we need to do is to put a steering wheel dummy. I'm going to make a tiny steering wheel. Is it two? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Actually, let's, let's go just one step further, you know? My steering wheel. <laughs> now we're gonna name this one, steer underscore HR in all caps. And that's S-T-E-E-R underscore HR. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do Alt-A to the steering wheel. All right. So now that's centered. I'm going to make it just, there you go, more fitting. It just, it just looks nicer when things aren't clipping through everything. You can actually click and drag to, like, parent it if you wanted to. Instead of, instead of doing, like, add selected to parent pick and test it out. Make sure it's in local up here and then rotate it. So that works. So make sure that you have your materials applied. So we're just gonna go in here. I'm gonna make a car body one. We're gonna make a, t a wheel one, a steering wheel, and a steering wheel housing. Okay, so we'll say body. Click on the body. Okay, wheels. Um, yeah, wheels gonna make this a different color so I know okay this is steering wheel housing or not housing um, column something stupid there you go all right and then steering wheel cool so theoretically this should work. So let's go ahead and export out. Did I delete the 350? I did. Okay. So export. Oops. Export. I'm going to make a new folder for this. And test car. We'll say test car. Okay. And then we're going to say test car. And then dot .fbx. Okay. Scale 1.0. We're going to open up KS Editor. File, open FBX, go to our test car, open that up. All right, so now you won't see anything um, initially, but you have to just, yeah, because there's no like save persistence, so it doesn't know what to do with it. So if you right click, you have to right click. You can't left click for some reason, only right click works. Okay, so when you click on the body, you can save, see by the name. And then we're going to do, it'll create a default null texture. I'm going to rename this as car body. All right. And then we're going to just do like just something basic. I'm just going to do, yeah, uh, okay. We'll just, we'll do case per pixel NM. Uh, I'm going to drag over a normal texture that I have. Okay. So I'm using this body underscore flat TDS. It just makes it look nicer. Do some basic shading. All right, so then we're gonna do the wheels. 
Now all the wheels are connected. They're all in the same material, so you shouldn't have to, yeah, you do one and then it'll do all of them together. We'll just do NM. Okay. Great. And then where's our steering wheel? There it is. So well, there's the column. Steering. So I'm just copying, pasting the null texture. The null is just a white. So it's not like it's like a like it's a usable texture if you wanted to. But you definitely want to rename it. Okay. And then wheel, where it at? There it is. So if you can't find find the object, you can always go down to scene and then um, it will be like within the hierarchy. You don't want to click on this one. You want to click on the like expand it fully. Uh, oh yeah, if you double click it, it'll like focus on it, which is cool. Okay, so go back, steering wheel. We'll just use this last one. Oh wait, yeah. All right, amazing. No fresen on that one actually. Cool. So now that that's done, make sure that everything's in the red, or not in the red, in the green and no red. You don't want to see any red. We're gonna do file, save, save persistence first. So what that does, now that you've created persistence, if you go into the folder that you save the car in, now it creates test card, test card .ini. Um Now if you can't see the .ini, then you go here and then file name extensions to activate those. It's a lot easier to see. I would recommend doing that. All right, so the quick way, if you have a car that you can just like override the KN5, and just fully replace the model. Um, then you just go save can five car. And then I have this Hummer that I'm, I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna overwrite the, the can five. We'll hit okay. As you can see, it's steering. Not the prettiest. Oh, hoo. wow. So because we're overwriting the can five, the wheelbase is changing. Can't tell if the size of the wheels are changing too. They look like they are. Okay, so I guess here's another good troubleshooting troubleshooting uh, segment. So if they are resizing like that, let's let's see what we could do. So we're gonna align using data. We're gonna update the model, and then we're gonna go ahead. So now that way, with align using data, it or with it off, it still stays like that. Unpack in five, okay, and. Overwrite this one. Okay, so now when we go back to 3DS and then we can, let's just delete this. Okay, let's go factor one. So now it will load in with that suspension how it was. We're gonna keep keep the wheelbase like that because that's just adjusted by the wheelbase in the car I and I or suspension one of the two. Now the wheel size, so say you want to make it smaller. Um, I'm going to, I want it to be back like that. So you can see at the bottom, so ch check out this number here. And I'm just gonna do like 72, yeah. That would be a noticeable change. We're just gonna do that for all. I'm sure someone's gonna think of like a really quick way to do this, but this is just like the basics. So we're, as you saw, I'm only sele selecting the wheel and not selecting the dummy. So only selecting the wheel and resizing the wheel itself. Okay, so that was the really the only issue. So let's go back and export this out. Recent FBX files since it's the same FBX. Okay, same can find. All right, so now when we do a line, now it's going to be 
the same. Sack. You can see that the oh. Huh. <laughs> okay, my steering wheel is on the wrong axis. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and fix that too. So this is probably gonna be I don't know if you guys can see this, it's pretty white. Let's see. You can see that the steering wheel is rotating like that. When you're importing in steering wheels and whatnot, this might be a common issue that you face. So first, let me make sure that the wheels rotate fine. Nice. So they are rotating indeed, in fact. Let's see that. Yeah, I don't have my wheel set up, so I can't really show you driving or drifting. That'd be really cool, but. Okay, so we're gonna fix the steering wheel issue. It's currently steering um, in that axis, so we need it to go like, you know, the proper way. So let's see, we're gonna go back here. If we just rotate this 90 degrees, that might be fine. Let's test it out. So I just affected the pivot point. I didn't rotate the dummy itself but I just changed the pivot point and the Z axis is now um, flat instead of upright. Nice. Okay, so the steering wheel just needs to be, needs to be facing like the pivot point Sorry, the dummy, the dummy for the steering wheel needs to be facing like forward, like the Z axis needs to be flat. I actually don't know if it can go like this as well. It probably could, can, but the Z axis just needs to be flat because the wheel will revolve around the Z axis. If you guys have any other questions um, regarding any of this, like if I didn't cover it or any new questions come up, let me know in the comments. Um, I try my best to answer comments or respond to comments. Sometimes when people say like, help me please, like literally just that, it's like, I, d I don't know how to help you. So you can just come into the Discord and message me or, you know, post some pictures and stuff and we can troubleshoot together. But this was a tutorial on how to make dummies, how to get a... Uh, a car from say outside the game into the game steering wheels doing all that so hope this helped if you guys have any questions let me know um and subscribe for more thanks for watching bye